Hi, I'm Dr. Rashmi Roy here at the Clayman Thyroid Center at the Hospital for Endocrine Surgery with another edition of Reuters Goiters. So today we're going to talk about this hugely insane large thyroid. So we had a patient come in, he was 31 years old and he weighed 408 pounds. This is a story of a patient getting very bad advice that led to essentially a life-threatening condition. So he had a 15 year history of having this mass in his thyroid grow bigger and bigger. But he was a bigger guy, so you couldn't really see it. So he would see doctors and the doctors would just say, oh, it's not causing you any problems, so just monitor it. So essentially he did nothing. Um, he just let, he just monitored it with ultrasounds. He wasn't experiencing any symptoms. So he really didn't do anything about it until the, it legitimately became too late. So his thyroid grew so big that it grew into his chest and then he was getting significant symptoms. So then when he started to get symptoms, he went to go see doctors and the doctor said, it's too late. There's too much thyroid in your chest. This is gonna to be too big of an operation. You're not gonna be able to handle it. You're gonna to have to have your chest cracked. And so he didn't do anything about it. And his symptoms got so bad that he could not do any exercise. He couldn't walk without being short of breath. This gentleman couldn't even sleep normally. He had to sleep in a, essentially a recliner. He needed a CPAP machine when he slept because he would stop breathing. He needed air to be pushed into his lungs by a machine because this thyroid was compressing his trachea, his windpipe so much. Um, so let me show you what this looks like in the operating room and then I'll show you the images afterwards. Here we are in the operating room. This is the patient's large mass. It's taking up his entire neck. It's extending all the way from underneath his jawbone. This is his beard here. It's extending all the way on the right side under his jawbone. This is his collarbone and extending into his chest. So the mass is pushing his trachea all the way over to the side. And I'll show you the imaging and the specimen once we're done with the surgery. Okay, so now you saw how big it was in the operating room. Let me show what it looks like on the CT scan. So here is the windpipe or the trachea. This is the thyroid starting on the right side. Essentially in the operating room, I had to go all the way behind his jaw to get the top of the thyroid out. So this is where it is. It's starting here. And if you follow it down, you can watch. It's getting bigger and bigger. And it's also big on the left side as well, but the significant portion is on the right side. So we keep following it down. So look how the trachea, it should be midline. It's pushed all the way over to the left side. This is all in the chest and look how small his windpipe gets. It's essentially a sliver. He had no room to breathe. Um, so in the operating room, I made an incision above his collarbone and I was able to remove this whole thyroid and this is what it looked like. So this was his huge thyroid mass. So this side, the left side is even big. So to kind of give you some perspective, a normal lobe should be just this big. So just in itself, this left side is so big and this was his right side that was pushing onto his trachea. Guys, just imagine, he had this huge mass that was pushing on his trachea. It was essentially like you have a straw and you're breathing through that. That's what it felt like. This mass was suffocating him. If we waited much longer, he literally would have died of suffocation from this mass. So what do we take away from this? What we take away is that trachea compression happens with large goiters. And the symptoms of that is difficulty breathing, shortness of breath when you're exercising, even when walking, and you can even stop breathing when you're sleeping. So that's why this patient needed a special CPAP machine. You can't lie flat. You can't lie flat because you're laying flat and this huge mass is compressing your trachea and you can't breathe. So essentially you are suffocating from your thyroid. So if you have a large goiter and you need surgery and people say that they won't do it, they won't operate on you, please contact us at thyroidcancer.com.